Hi guys, it's Lara. Thanks for watching and welcome back to my channel. Today I again altered some of my clothes. Uh, I picked a check dress that was a little bit too wide on the sides and then I also altered one of my button-down shirts. So this is a very beginner-friendly tutorial how to take in clothes. So if that's something you're interested in then please keep watching. The first thing I want to alter today is this button-down shirt. Now, even though my chest is now flat, it still looks good on the top, probably because I have here this big pockets, and since it's a button-down shirt, it's not supposed to be super tight anyway. What I don't like, though, is here the bottom, because it goes a little bit narrower towards the waist, and then it opens again, and this is just a little bit too wide. It hangs kind of too loose here and it just doesn't look good so I think I'm just gonna uh, take it in only here towards the waist so I put here a pin it's about an inch maybe a little bit more than an inch and I will make a nice line nice transition towards the narrowest point and this is uh, the only place where I want to take it in so it's not gonna be a huge alteration but it will definitely look better see that it doesn't hang so loose anymore and I think it's gonna be very pretty and I still want it to be rather looser on the bottom especially when I'm gonna wear this shirt over my jeans and uh, you know when you're wearing a belt and when you have a shirt then it can't be too tight because otherwise it would bulge out over the belt and I don't want that so I think this is gonna be fine I put the pins in also on the other side and now when I turn to the side it looks good. It's still loose enough so that it can hide uh, my belt but it doesn't kind of stand away on the side so that's what I'm gonna do. Well, let's have a look at how I pinned the shirt sides in. So first of all I opened quite a lot of the bottom edge and then I folded it nicely and I made sure that it was flat from both sides. And then I went from the point where the shirt was narrowest and I went as far as I needed to. So this is almost an inch and that is about two and a half centimeters. And now I will sew through here with a straight stitch. Then I will cut back the excess fabric and then I will go over the edge with a zigzag so that the fabric wouldn't fray out and then we'll take it from there. Here we have the new seam. You can see that I connected it nicely with the original seam and then I went wider downwards and now I will cut back the excess fabric. I will cut back that much and again I'll make a nice transition into here and from here I will now sew through with a pretty dense zigzag so that the fabric wouldn't fray. There we have it. Now it's edged with a zigzag and now I will fold the seam to the back side and then I will fold the bottom edge and I will pin it in place and then I will sew through the edge with a straight stitch. And I will sew from this side, from the wrong side, because I want to make sure that I sew exactly where the original seam here was so that the edge would be properly attached from the inside. Here is what it looks like then from the inside and here from the outside. I did not have a thread that would match exactly so when you know where I have sewn through with the new seam then you can tell that there is a little difference between this thread and this thread but you really have to know it and since this is on my side when I will be wearing that no one, no one will notice. Well and obviously everything looks much better once it's ironed which is what I have done now and uh, here you can see how wide the shirt is now on the bottom so it's still again wide enough so that it's not super tight. 
but the whole line looks on me now way better because it was just standing to the sides and I personally like this so much more. So that's done. Next I have here this cute check dress. I have a waistband that I can tie around my waist. I usually make a bow in the front. It's super cute but now uh, it is too loose around my boobs so what I will do is there is a side seam where I can take it in so I will take it in here from the top and it always has been a little bit too loose around my waist so I will also take it around my waist and then I will again make a nice transition towards the bottom ruffle. I put a few pins in from the outside because I wanted to play around with how much I can take it in from where. So I can take it in about one centimeter here. Then I have to take it in a little bit less around this area because I have pretty wide rib cage. And then I can go again a little bit narrower around my waist. And then as I said, that's going to be a nice transition towards the bottom. So now the next step is to turn the dress to the wrong side and pin everything in from the wrong side. The pins are now in from the inside. The dress fits really nice now. It could be a little bit narrower here around this area around my waist but I'm gonna leave it like that because this is actually a really nice transition towards the ruffle. Here we have what it looks like when the dress is pinned from the inside. So here it's about half a centimeter from the original seam. It goes a little bit closer towards here because this is the section where my rib cage is the widest and then it goes again a little bit further away from the original seam. This is about one centimeter. Here again one centimeter and here I am approaching the original seam so that I will have a nice transition. So I will sew here through with a regular straight stitch then I will cut back the excess fabric and edge it with zigzag. Here is what it looks like. So again, just sewing through with a straight stitch, then I cut back the excess fabric and I went through with, uh, with regular zigzag. And then I only had to fold the upper edge inwards again and I have sewn through with a straight stitch and I made sure that I connected to the seam that I already had there. And here we have it. Now the dress fits really nicely without being too tight. You can see there's still enough space so that I can nicely move in it. Now I also pulled through the belt. I usually make a bow on the belt. That would look now like this. It's super cute. It makes the dress really girly. <laughs> And if I don't feel like having it uh, tied in a bow, then I just make a simple knot that is, of course, personal preference. I am super happy with the result, especially with the check dress. I had this dress for at least 10 or maybe even 11 years now and I've been wearing it every single summer. I love the dress so much so I'm really glad that I could fix it so that it would fit me now again and I'm also very happy I could find a solution for the shirt because I really like the color but I just did not feel 100% comfortable in the shirt and now I do so that's great. Right now I have here four more dresses of which I know that I want to alter them and then there are several other pieces that I picked from my closet where I'm not 100% sure if I want to alter them or if it wouldn't be easier to just sell them via thrift shop. Right now I'm selling my stuff via Machin Flowmarkt, which is an online thrift shop. Basically anyone can open their little shop there and sell their stuff. The good thing is that they have a special deal for shipping. So whenever I sell something, they send me a shipping label that I'm supposed to use. And that's, I think, like $5.90 for the buyer. And I can send into the entire European Union. Unfortunately, not in any other countries right now. I hope something will change in future. And I'm also looking into Depop, but I don't know how the shipping works there. Because I specifically joined Metian Flowmark because they have this special deal for shipping because if I would ship on my own, let's say, to Germany or to Slovakia, 
to Germany it would be at least 10 euros if I would uh, ship with the very same company if I would do it on my own and if I would sell to any other European country it would be like at least 12 or 13 euros which is way more than 590 and if I would sell to the States then the shipping is just astronomical that would never be justified buying anything secondhand and paying way more for the shipping so I'm just you know, looking into things and maybe in future I will be able to sell internationally. But that is it for today. I'm really looking forward to altering the dresses that I just laid out because again these are pieces that I like wearing a lot so I will do it as soon as I can so there will be definitely a new video next week. If you have any questions feel free to write them down below in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you with my next project. Bye!